morning. Good morning. So we found this recipe through um, Essential Pepin. I got the cookbook from my French boyfriend for Christmas, and so eggs on cocotte has now become my favorite way to make eggs. It's very simple, especially if you like runny yolks. This is just right for that. So I'm going to turn the camera around to show you what it looks like. So what you do is you um, put some eggs in a little ramekin. Do we have any clean ramekins? Well, this is clean enough. Okay. Little ramekins, which you would, we put um, ghee, we line this with ghee or with oil, and then put the egg in, and then you flavor it with whatever you want. So this is my, this is going to be my breakfast, and we've got um, shredded parmigiano Reggiano cheese, some botarga, and then dill, and some uh, chopped green onions. So you put just a tiny bit of water in the bottom of your saucepan, like no more than half an inch, and bring it to a boil. And then you drop your little ramekin, um, you drop your little ramekin in the pot like that, and cover it. Covering it is actually very important. And then you let it boil or, or steam itself like that for four minutes, um, five minutes. He's saying, Francois is saying, five minutes to get a runny. And then I like to eat it with bread or with crackers or something like that. So Francois has done other variations of this with um, prosciutto and sharp cheese. And uh, what else have you done? Mushrooms. Oh, we did mushrooms one time with a tiny bit of truffle oil. So this is actually really fun for brunches too, um, because you can do them to order. They don't take that long, so people can choose. They can like make their own little egg things. So this has only a couple more minutes to go, and then no, you don't beat the egg. You just you put it in just as is. So um, like I said, I like mine with a runny yolk. So he's testing to see. How um, how ready it is? Yeah, truffle oil is the best. It's like an aphrodisiac to me. Yeah, I oil the ramekin with. You can use butter. We use ghee. Um, and sometimes he has then lined the inside of the ramekin with the shredded cheese. So you can get super fancy with this, or not. So when I watched Jacques Pepin do this, he had a little video that came with his um, recipe book. He then um, took some bread and like cut it in the circle that was the same size as the ramekin, and then he put it on top of the egg and flipped it. So then he had the um, the egg on cocotte that you know it, it ends up soft boiled in that shape, and then he had the little toast under it, and it was a really pretty little presentation. So we take it out for me when the whites are still a little bouncy because it does continue to cook a little bit even once you take it out of the pan. But that gives me um, just cooked whites and runny yolk. Mm, runny yolk. So who all uses botarga? Botarga is salted fish eggs and it's got a little bit of a new and um, we get it grated. And so this is my little final product. Um, you can see it's still kind of bouncy. And here's my spoon. Can you get the Botarga out of the fridge, please? So, yeah, look at that. Yeah, so this is, you can kind of see where the egg white is still a little soft and runny. But by the time I mix it all together, because I, I mix mine all together and, and then, um, I use bread crackers that I dip into it. These crackers are gluten-free. I'm not gluten-free, but I enjoy having low-gluten meals every now and then. So this is chestnut crisp bread, and they are pretty tasteless. Um, but they're crunchy. They're kind of like water wafers. And so they also make them in buckwheat. So um, because I like my eggs runny, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to cook it anymore because, like I said, by the time I mix it together, it's going to keep cooking itself. See how it, it kind of, it's already sticking to the cocotte? I wouldn't go, I personally wouldn't go any longer than this because I don't want my eggs to be really stiff, the whites to be really stiff. Um, I like it all kind of soft and a little gooey. And that really runny yolk is, I'm sorry, that really runny white is gonna keep cooking just a little bit more with this heat. 
So for those of you curious about the Botarga, I, it is super delicious. It's, it's really savory. So this is what grated Botarga looks like. That right there. Um, it's really salty. And then, like I said, it has that slight umami flavor. It would, you would use it like you would use anchovies to get a little depth to a dish without, you know, too much because then it would taste fishy and, and all that stuff. Hope you enjoy that. I was super excited when I found out about this way to cook eggs because otherwise I thought I had to poach it. And, um, wow, smoked white fish with egg? No, but that sounds amazing. All right, guys. If you don't have any more questions, then, um, I'm going to get to my breakfast. Um, but you can find me on Twitter. I have the same username on Twitter. So, yeah, you can ask me questions or follow. And um, then, yeah. Happy Saturday, guys. Bye.